The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. So we're on our way to Yekaterinburg from Irkutsk. Um, it's a long journey, 49 hours, and um, I've had plenty of time to reflect on my evening meal at Lake Baikal, which I was so looking forward to. Being here at Lake Baikal, uh, just having uh, been to a lovely bakery with Poroshki and a good coffee, and I'm sitting outside. This evening's um, meal place. Uh, I'm surrounded by fish as you can see either side of me. There's fish opposite me in the lake and we've reserved a table for the tonight. I've got absolutely no idea what the menu says. There's no English on it. We've got somebody who knows a bit of English and she's pointed out on the menu sections of it which I have not marked down which says fresh vegetables, roasted vegetables, baked vegetables. And that is what I've got lined up for this evening. But I can't remember the place on the menu where it was, so I'll have to hope that there's some vague English speaking person around to help point it out. So this is the sort of level of uh, food and ordering that I was expecting and um, Eastern Siberia is not letting me down on that. And um, so I'm feeling quite excited about it in one respect. Uh, I've got very low expectations of what I'm going to receive here. So the satisfaction equation may be very high because um, I'm, I've no idea what's going to happen. It'll be, it'll be exciting if I could get a good meal from a menu. I've got no idea what it says. I'll be, that'll be quite exciting. And um, I've surveyed the wine, and there is some wine, and we've got a bottle of Russian wine to take as uh, backup or instead of, we'll see. And uh, we had our reserve table and uh, a lovely English-Russian reserve sign on there for when we went in, and sat down, and um, we ha had a few um, goes at guessing what we were gonna eat, and um, it included some pictures of various animals and fish and things like that and um, we got the wine and beer in and um, waited for the food to arrive and the waitress was being lovely and helpful, friendly and the food arrived. Onion bread. Mm. Just remember, and it is vodka. two days on the train. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is vodka. <laughs> 
That's why I didn't want to put it in the soup. It's a very fishy broth. It's beautiful. Try the bottom. Actual fish. And it wasn't too clear at first because there was all sorts of different food on, on a single platter. And suddenly the realisation, the gross realisation that the food was all together. My grilled veggies were mixed in with the fish and the meat. The disappointment was palpable. It was terrible. I was so looking forward to it. We'd managed to get through the menu. We'd separated out three dishes. Yet it all came together. I had an acute and instant letdown. I was so disappointed. The evening was lost on me. And um, it was unsalvageable. We moved on from that. And thank goodness there is another day. A day is only 24 hours long and there's always something to look forward to. So the next morning we pack our bags and go to a cuts for a morning look around, walking tour. And we get some information from our guide that there's a place called Coffee Studio. I'm going, great. There's a chance, if it's a pure coffee place, that we might get at least get a latte or a straight cappuccino without the chocolate on top. And it'll salvage something. So we walked into this place. We looked through the menu. It was a vast menu from Russian dishes, lovely salads, fries, grilled vegetables, and humorously to the Metasaurus, but not so much to me. My menu was listed as garnish. <laughs> That seemed to be a big thing last night, too, a big time. The humour for the meat eating part of the crew was immense. For me, I kept quiet and just soaked it up. This life vegging out with Vidani is being called your food as garnish. Anyway, that's what it was. We ordered it. Everybody had a delightful lunch. It was unexpected. It was beautiful. It would be very nice because it would be saturated mm. with the The inside board. of the bread basket would be lovely. This is lovely. Eat, eat your garnish. <laughs> Love it. I'm getting a warm feeling thinking about it after the disappointment from the night before. It was unexpected. It was good quality. It was enjoyable. The service was great. We got a great table in the light in the early afternoon. We tempted to go from breakfast to morning tea to lunch to afternoon tea here. Yep. Ah, no tomatoes. That's okay. The hookah with different kinds of tobacco. And the thing that is filtered through can just be water, milk, white or red wine, or cognac or absinthe. Absinthe. So you can have tobacco filtered through absinthe. I ain't smoking. Everybody enjoyed their lunch and it was a winner. It was great. Really enjoyed it. Fantastic. And uh, importantly, it set us up for the 49 hours on the train that was just coming. 